Hey everyone, this is Nightfighter22 here. I hope you guys are all well. Uh, my sincere apologies uh, for not making a video in about two and a half weeks, I think. I've been on holiday and I haven't been playing much chess. So now it's time for me to make another video. My apologies for all. I've not suddenly given up on chess. Um, so today we're going to be looking at the Magnus Smith trap uh, from the Sicilian. And basically what this is, it's a trap where the black player will lose their queen no matter what in a Sicilian position. If they just play the corresponding moves, which is actually a variation of the main line, uh, then you should be able to trap them to lose their uh, queen. And obviously this works a lot in blitz games because people are a lot more greedy for material. They will go ahead, they'll capture a pawn, and then they'll find that they've lost their queen. <laughs> okay, so it starts out with a pretty standard si Sicilian position. e4, c5, knight f3, d6. And then we see d4, e takes, knight takes, knight f6. And then after knight c3, uh, knight c6 will be played, which is the mainline Sicilian, the classical variation. And this is actually about the fifth most common opening position ever after the first five moves. So you can really see you'll get a lot of chances to play the Magnus Smith if you like playing against the Sicilian in this way, as most people do. And from here, you're not going to go ahead with bishop g5, you're actually going to play bishop to c4. Now, a lot of players will, in this position, bishop c4, they won't go ahead and play e6. They'll actually go ahead and fianchetto their bishop. And the mainline thinking behind that is they'll have this lovely bishop on the two diagonals um, of the knights. So this bishop will be eyeing down these knights and also the queen side, where white will typically, ca uh, typically castle in the Sicilian. So they'll go ahead and play g6. And now what you can do is you can just go ahead and trade off the knights. Pretty standard stuff, really. And you notice that black now has a very comfortable position with this massive pawn island. Um, you know, very good pawn structure compared to whites, and has a very nice position. And now we see e5, and this is where the trap really comes into play. And you see the move e5. You see it's a little bit odd. It's a little bit odd. And another great thing about this trap is it's not very common. Not that many people know about this. Uh, the Magnus Smith trap. And obviously the knight's being attacked, and so there's two main things that someone can do. Maybe if they're more aware of the trap, they will go ahead and they will move their knight. So let's look at look at, let's look at um, what the knight can go to. The knight can go to d5, uh, but they will lose a pawn, and so they're not very likely to do this at all. E4 is taken, and also g4 is taken. G8 would be really dubious. Uh, so at least 90% of the time, the player will move their knight off to h5, and now what you can do, Fisher's recommendation for this move is just to play the pawn up to g4. And you'll notice again, we're really harassing this knight because the only square it can go to is now g7. And even though you've got this bad pawn structure, don't worry, hang on a second, you're going to win that queen. So, <clears throat> now what we can do is we can play queen to f3, I think. And queen to f3, what it does is it sets up this monumental attack on, well, basically threatening. Yeah, f7, very powerful attack, which would win the game. So, what white is going to do to block is, you'll see e6 most of the time, which basically just blunts out this bishop and wants to get black into the game a little bit. But what you can do here, is after knight e4, this dual purpose move, you can tempt black into playing this queen to a5 check move. Because you can say, ah, now, my knight's in a safe position, and now I can go ahead and win the pawn. So they'll play queen to a5 check a lot of the time. And then you can just play bishop d2 d2 to uh, block the check. And if they actually go ahead and take the pawn now, then you'll notice bishop to c3. And uh, the queen is pretty stuck. You know, this square is taken by the bishop. This one's covered by the bishop. This one's covered by the knight bishop. Um, this one's also covered by the queen. Uh, the knight and the pawn, so the queen's got absolutely nowhere to go, and they're going to lose their queen. So what you may be asking is, well, unfortunately, Mr. Knight Fighter 22, they might not play this knight h5 move uh, anyway. And the main thing they're not going to do, they're not going to play knight h5 um, to save the knight, is to play here takes, d takes e5. And now just comes a very simple tactic. You can win the queen right away, and it's forced. It's just bishop takes f7, check. And you'll notice that the queen is controlling the d-file, so the king can't move away, and it's hemmed in by his own pieces. 
So king takes, and then the only defender with the queen is removed, and again you've won their queen. So it's very good in these sort of Sicilian positions to go ahead and win people's queens like this, uh, called the Magnus Smith Trap. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe for more traps soon. I wish you good luck playing chess, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.